All right, guys, so Apple just announced iOS 26, and I'd love to share some of my favorite features. We know we have a massive redesign, this glossy look that Apple calls a liquid gloss, something we've been seeing a lot in renders and reports, and now it's finally happening. It's borrowed from a Vision OS, and as you can see, Apple is spreading it out across all their different software platforms. We now have it in Mac OS, we have it in iPad OS, Watch OS, and what's really great actually is Apple decided this year to give their OS one a single naming, making it a lot easier for us users to recognize which year the OS was developed. We now have iOS 26, so not iOS 19, macOS 26, iPadOS 26, watchOS 26, tvOS 26, and also visionOS 26. And what's amazing about the new features in iOS 26 is that it's using this beautiful new liquid gloss design in every element. So for example, when we go to the new camera app, we now see this new focus on a photo and video mode but also when you swipe up open up new menus you see this amazing new glossy look and finish with that also you can see this new design on the lock screen and apple decided to make a big change to the lock screen because now the time is automatically adjusting based on your wallpaper the time will be bigger and smaller and you can even adjust the font like we used to do in ios 18 and what's really great now and i've seen a demo of this and this is absolutely Absolutely amazing is the way new uh, spatial photos are being added to the wallpaper and this depth effect that Apple creates is truly outstanding it reminds me a little bit of the holographic four or five like images cards that we used to have when we were kids you have to see it for yourself it's a truly truly amazing what's really cool is that you don't need to have any special type of photo or image it can be done with almost any image obviously some images work better than others depending on the depth and looking at the lock screen i'd love to share one of my favorite new features and that is that you can now exactly see the amount of time it changed to fully charge your battery this is a feature many of us have been requesting for years and it's finally here also when you go in through your settings and then go to battery you have this new battery overview you can exactly see how long it takes to charge 80 percent or 100 percent this obviously depends on the power wattage of your battery and it's just amazing that we finally get this feature here some other amazing features that we're getting is call screening and this one is going viral on my instagram and call screening basically what it does is that when somebody calls you that is unknown to you your phone won't ring what they will hear is an ai generated voice that's going to ask who are you and why you're calling then you get a transcript on your phone you can see that and if it's somebody you want to answer to you can then do that what's just amazing is that you don't get bothered by people that you just don't want to get bothered by. We now also get live translations in the messages app inside of FaceTime and during calls. And also this is something people have been waiting for for years and it's great that we finally see this. With regards to AirPods, AirPods now allows you to start your video recording. So basically they're just small little remotes. I'm not sure whether you need to put them in your ears or where you can just hold them to activate this feature, but it's just great for content creators like me to have access to that control from a distance just through my AirPods. Now talking about like Apple intelligence, Apple didn't cover that much about Apple intelligence in specific, but we do know that there is a lot of AI implemented in iOS 26. One of the best new features in my opinion is on-screen awareness. I call this visual intelligence 2.0. What I'm referring to is the fact that if you take a screenshot now, your iPhone will recognize the stuff that's going on inside of your screen. Let's say you have clothes or a specific lamp that you're seeing, then you can ask ChatGPT or tap on this and go through Google or Etsy to go to this specific product. So your screenshots are getting smart, which is a really amazing to have right now. Also the wallet app got a massive update. So when you're in the US, you can create digital IDs using your passport. So that's amazing for people from the United States. Unfortunately in Europe, we're not getting a feature like that. Also, if you travel a lot, the wallet app will be your best friend because now boarding passes got massive updates and what this allows you to do is that there's way more information inside of the wallet app with regards to your flight your gate info you even get a map or layout from different terminals different airports you now also get real-time notifications in your dynamic island and through your life activities so yeah basically the wallet app is becoming a more versatile and more kind of a travel buddy which i think will be extremely helpful for many people and lastly 
maybe one of my favorite changes, but this is just because I love these small little details, is the fact that Apple decided to go back to the old camera app icon. So if you have a closer look, you can really see Apple went away from the DSLR kind of design and went towards the old like single lens design, maybe referring a little bit to the liquid gloss design that we have right now on iOS 26. But yeah, I love the fact that Apple is going back towards that more retro look. Looks amazingly well within iOS 26 on the home screen. All right, guys, so yeah, these are some of the most important things you should know about iOS 26. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Peace.